Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are seeing SharePoint lookup column in the Power Apps. We also see the cascading, how to add the new records, update, delete. Okay, and this is mostly one-to-many relationship in the SharePoint column. So let's go and see the use case. Okay, so I take a very simple use case here. Okay. we have the countries column okay so each countries have the multiple states okay and multiple states have the multiple cities okay so what basically happens okay whenever we have to add a new record okay to this city okay we have to patch the states as well as countries so we are seeing this how we can be do this okay then we have the states okay so it is related with the same country so if we add the new state here okay so country should be add in the power apps okay and vice versa as well if i delete the canada country okay so related states to the canada will be deleted and the state okay the cities as well related to their states okay will also deleted so we are seeing this okay in the power how to achieve this okay So let's go to the Mac dot Power Apps, okay? And already added one screen, okay? Given the screen names, countries, okay? And use one simple header as well as one gallery to save your time and efforts, okay? So let's I use here the data source as the countries, okay? So it is picking up data source. I already added data source from the data section okay let's i change the layout to the title because in my gallery i have only single row okay so you can be see we have this okay so if i click on this icon like of united states okay so all the united state related states i able to view that okay so we have to achieve this okay so for that purpose let's we go and create one variable here okay so by using set function we are creating variable because we have to use this variable in the other screen that's why okay gbl country comma this item so what basically this item does here okay it will store the entire row okay in this variable okay let's i save the app okay and let's go to the united state record but we are not navigated so we have to add the navigate formula as well here okay so let's add the navigate okay we have to navigate to the screen state let's i copy this name okay and simply use it here okay on this next arrow just close this we have to give is a quotes okay because we are using special characters here okay backslash that's why So now we are done. Okay, let's see it is navigating to or not. So it is successfully navigating that screen. Okay, state, region, and provisions. Okay, so let's provide here the states one. Okay, and let's change the layout to the title and subtitle. We can be make it here. Okay. so we can be see the country as well as state here now we have to apply the filter okay before offline filter you can be see all the records are displaying here we have this much of record that's why it is displaying let's apply the filter let's use their filter formula and we have to apply this on the basis of our lookup column so we are applying this on the title so i provided title equal to variable name here gbl country dot title so now here we have to use our second column that is the country one okay country dot value and then we have to close this one so only related to the united state okay we can able to see the states the same process we have to follow here okay let's do faster okay this time let's use here set 
जी बी एल स्टेट्स कॉमा दिस आइटम इस क्लोज दिस एम प्रोवाइड द नेविगेट फॉर्मूला नेविगेट टू द स्क्रीन सिटीज वी आर डन लेट्स डू सिमिलर स्टेप फॉर हेयर एज वे provide the data source to the gallery here it will be cities changing the layout to the title subtitle and body so we can see all three values here so let's i go to the gallery this item dot title and here we will give instead of id we need the value okay so we will give value here and in the body section we will do give okay state region dot id okay and we have to do the look up operation here okay look up to showcase the country so here we will provide the look up call up okay then we have the state okay and then we have id means we are finding the record in the state okay and in the state we already has the country so we are simply look up in this value here so we are a gate okay we a successfully able to display the all the records okay and let's we go here and we not need this arrow so we will make change this right to the trash one okay and similar for the other side okay so now we change this icon to trash as well as applied the filter only now we able to see the records related to california and country as the united state here now we will perform the delete operation okay now means if we delete this record so no impact will happen to the other list okay. then we simply we can be use here remove let's use the list name okay city comma this item then we need this formula we'll copy this go to the this gallery and we will first insert one trash icon so i duplicating the same one and simply changing the position here i removing this one okay and using the for all function then the filter formula windows v and this filter formula we need then we have to perform the remove action we use a remove the list name okay so list name is city comma this record so we apply here for all function but we are getting one error here saying that the function cannot operate on the same data source that is used in the for all so we be we have to create one collection here so for that purpose let's i use here clear collect let's we have to provide the collection name so call city then we will give comma we'll use the same for all uh, filter formula here as well so i provide the filter formula and closing the collect and then we are using the same name here as well so instead of this filter formula we are using the collection name okay and so now what's happen first we create the variable so in this we have the 
information related to the all the state cities related to that state will filter in this collection and we are performing for all operation and removing one by one okay here and we will change this icon from arrow to the trash and simply click on the save here now let's test this functionality is working correctly or not before that we are not applied the remove function to the current record so for that purpose we use the remove then we have to provide the city name okay sorry the list name okay so that is state comma this item so we are done okay let's i format the text and explain you the formula what basically happening here so first we are storing the very um the row in this item okay gbl state then we are filtering that data in the call city okay so city data we are filtering by using this variable and then we are using for all function and removing the records in the city one and then we are removing the current record by using this item let's we go and to the this one okay so let's apply here filter okay we are deleting the california record okay so i applied the filter here california let's go in the city and in the city as well let's apply the filter here okay california so friends you can be see if i delete this record okay california 1 so three record should also be delete in the city 1 okay so let's go in the power app save the app okay and play there okay so i simply deleting this record okay operation is started it will take some time okay record is deleted successfully now let's i go to the city 1 okay and filter it by using the california okay california already gone okay so we not have let's i refresh this so you can be see california all three records will is not present now yeah so in this way we can be perform the cascade okay now let's go to the power apps one more time and perform the same formula in the country as well but here we have to provide the formula three level not the two level so let's i copy this icon let's go in the gallery and simply i paste this one here so trash icon is present with us okay let's change the names here okay instead of state we have to provide the here country okay so from countries this record will delete gbs instead of gbs state we have the different variable gbl country okay then we have to delete the record from the states okay so we are using clear collect then call text then let's i give the comma here okay and use filter action similar so friends what we are doing we are storing the this item in the gbl country and filtering for states so we have all the state in the call state here and then we are using the clear collect okay because in the for all loop we cannot use the clear collect options we are using the combination of clear and collect here so first we are removing the all the values odd values in this collection okay and filtering here call state by using with function we are distinguishing this item okay this record with the title and using this here for filter purpose restate okay and then we are getting all the cities in the call cities then we are first deleting the cities then state and then countries because if we delete the first states then 
in the cities our call uh, all the cities is a blank okay so for that purpose we are following here reverse order so let's perform let's see it's working or not let's i delete the india record here so it takes some time so you can be add the loader here friends to identify and to save the time and get a good user interface here so all the india records are deleted here so we are done with the first step to add the new record in our city list we have to you i'm using a form okay and provide the data source as a city here okay and uh, on the submit button i use simply submit form so here you have to use the combo box to select okay to provide the lookup okay here you can be see for the both of them here is content type is coming so i will select the form select the field here okay and in the field i will add here okay so this only we have to give the state okay country will automatically came to the state one okay so these two things we have to submit only so let's i give here state here so state in maharashtra in the maharashtra thane is coming so i can simply click on this plus icon and the record will save to our sharepoint list okay so if i go in the city okay and in the city if i filter by the friends if you have any question any doubt uh, performing the delete operation in the lookup sharepoint lookup column so you can be add message in the comment box in the next video we are seeing okay the edit operation edit and add operation in the lookup field of sharepoint thank you friends keep learning keep going keep exploring